Last time, we saw that the energy of an orbit uniquely determines its shape. It's also important to note that the total energy of all the orbits in a planetary system remains constant as the objects move around the star. We call this behavior conservation of energy, and we can evaluate it using our code. This function calculates the kinetic energy of an object. The equation we see here is equivalent to the traditional 1 half mv squared, but uses momentum instead of velocity. This function calculates the gravitational potential energy between two objects. Notice that the process is similar to calculating the gravitational force, but it produces a scalar instead of a vector. Finally, here we graph the total energy of our system, along with the kinetic energy of each object in the system. Running the code, we see that while each kinetic energy changes, the total energy for the system remains constant. In essence, the objects in our system are trading energy back and forth, but the whole system never loses or gains any energy. Next time, we'll take a look at how it's possible for two orbits to seemingly cross each other without the objects colliding, like our own Neptune and Pluto.